One of the things I love most about the holidays is food. And I always want something that's kind of my go-to with me. And what's cooking is Kent Rathman. And he's got a, one of those go-to recipes for Absolutely. us. Absolutely, you know, and in fact, you could do this for Thanksgiving. And yeah. If, if you do it right and kind of put it away correctly, it's still ready for Christmas. You know, it's a little cranberry and orange chutney, and we have a little jalapeno. Or you, you know, we're from Texas. Bring the heat. So we're gonna we're gonna just kind of pop some big chunks of uh, jalapeno in here. Now you can pull these out, or mm -hmm. you can cut it smaller and leave them in. Yeah. Kind of depends on how you how you do this. So let me tell you what we have here. Okay. So we have cranberries just out of the bag, right? You can do it also with dried cranberries if you like. Yeah. A cup of red wine, about a half a cup of sugar, about two oranges in here, and then we're going to use a little fresh orange zest. But I love it. Kemp, uh, what are you doing these days? You had your horrific accident just a little over a year ago. You have bounced back. Your wife has her restaurant, Shinsei, right, right. with Lene Fearing. Yeah. Well, you know, I do a lot with Shinsei and Lover Seafood Market. You know, mm -hmm. it's like right now we're, we're working on new menus uh, for the. Uh, uh, seafood market. My wife is uh, getting ready to open a new restaurant down in Victory Plaza. All right. Yeah, it's going to be called Emoto. Uh huh. And, uh, it's going to be kind of a another Asian concept, and we're going to do some really, really cool Pan Asian things in the kitchen. So mm -hmm. we're very excited. I kind of think this awesome? is going to be cool to do on Christmas morning with some really nice English muffins. Ooh. This is creamed goat cheese. Uh huh. Okay. So we're just going to take a little. Uh, Kind of this kind of deal right here. Yeah, look at All that. Right. Why can't I make those swirls? I could, I can get one of those frosting thingies right, and right. do all that. You can do that. Mine never looked that well, professional. Well, you know, I, I am a professional. <laughs> this I is mean, true. Okay, so now this is this is hot. So these are just buttered English muffins. Okay. Yep. We're gonna put a little bit of this cranberry just on top like that. Mm. And the juice. And the juice, of course. Okay. Now this becomes a little bit more than a regular English muffin. I think so. I got one other thing here. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, my dad used to do the orange chocolate. Yes. So this is orange chocolate and cranberry brittle. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna kind of put a piece of chocolate brittle in here just like this. And I'm gonna tell you that if you serve that to your family while you're opening some presents on Christmas morning, mm -hmm. you're gonna be a, a rock star. Well, Kent, thank you so much for thank coming and being with us. Thank you for having me on the show. It's great to see you. You're looking terrific. Thank We're glad you. to have you with us. Thank you. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> yeah, and that's what's cooking. <laughs>